Relationships are terribly critical to systems thinking. Systems are defined by their interaction, not their parts. Let me put that another way. The defining characteristic of a system emerges from the interaction of the parts. Speech, for instance, is not the product of a voice box or lungs or tongue or brain. Rather, speech is a result of the interaction between those parts. Interactions become terribly important to understanding. If you understand everything about a part, except the system it is a part of, you actually know very little. For instance, what would you think if I told you that I knew all about spark plugs, but knew nothing about engines? Now this is not to say that reductionist thinking is bad. Parents know how marvelous it is when a child does finally learn to limit his focus. There is a place for focusing on elements rather than interactions. What is bad is being unaware that there is an option. What is bad is believing that reductionist thinking is synonymous with thinking rather than a subset of thinking. Gaining awareness of how we think is the first step in creating intellectual capital. As we learn more about the interactions of systems, we are better able to predict and influence systems' behavior. The same is not necessarily true if we focus on learning more about the elements. Success didn't come from knowing that choosing between two closed doors was a 50-50 proposition. Success came from knowing how those two doors were related to the third, already open door. The brain is a lesson in the power of interactions. Learning is, literally, the result of growing interdependencies. Shortly after your birth, the number of brain cells you had was fixed. You don't get more brain cells as you learn more. If you did, people could tell how much you would learn just by looking at the size of your head. What does happen is this. The connections between the brain cells grow. As you learn more, these connections, called dendrites, lengthen to connect a greater number of brain cells. One learns by changing and increasing the interaction of brain cells, not by changing the brain cells themselves. Similarly, organizations learn by improving the interaction of their elements, not by improving the elements in isolation. And the most critical interaction of any system is its interaction with its environment. It is upon the environment that any system, natural or social, depends for its survival. The biological model was for centuries the way to learn about nature. If you wanted to learn about an animal, you simply took it out of its environment to a place in which you could more closely scrutinize it. This has only changed in the last century. The ecological model, by contrast, involves understanding the animal in its environment. This leads to a much richer understanding, requiring that we learn about the ecosystem of which the animal is part. David Bohm, a philosopher who explored the implications of new scientific understanding, argued that we will never correct the fragmentation in our society until we've corrected the fragmentation in our thinking. To illustrate this point, he used the delightful example of a state wave. What Bohm calls a state wave, you and I would probably call a ripple. It is a wave in a stream that remains fixed as water courses through it. He commented that it would be foolish to try to understand a state wave by focusing on it to the exclusion of the stream around it. How many of you have tried to focus on the state wave rather than the stream? We all have. We try to improve a department without regard for the company of which it is a part. We evaluate the performance of individuals within departments. We focus on the state wave rather than the stream. Forbes recently reported, to its surprise, that Bill Gates read about seven hours per day, and not internal reports. His focus is outwards, and his company, Microsoft, has benefited as a result. Deming used to say that banks didn't go out of business because of mistakes at the teller's window, or because of miscalculation of interest rates. No one ever became successful by focusing on the state wave. Success follows from focusing on the stream.